in an attempt to taunt HQ. We have got to hunt the hunters now. Comedians Ed Gamble and James Acaster call the hotline. They're funny boys. They're very handsome. They're taking the piss. And we've got that call twist. Get a team room in there now. 200 metres away from the location of up. Leading the hunters to the Taskmaster house in Chiswick. Let's tool up. We're going to tell them it's piss. It's not piss. It's war. Stand by. There's a note that says, eat piss. Everybody switch on. This is our opportunity to wipe these two out today. Stand by. I'll go on back. Show done. Say hello to my little friend. This is Pitt! There he is. Ray receiving JP, he's got a few to tip. Oh. It's James A. Caster. Eat Pitt! Eat Pitt! This is Pitt! Oh, ah. This is Pitt! It's Pitt! Pitt! It didn't go to plan. I don't think he's going to make it. James, you've been hunted down. The time runs over. We've got James A. Caster. Call. Have we seen Ed? Where's Ed? I'll never tell you. <laughs> Mel is after Ed, lover. Yeah, just going into the house now. Yeah, roger that. So let's just clear the house. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't loving this, JP. I'm going through the house now. No sign. Watching you guys failing to find my friend Ed Gamble. Come on, Ed. Pathetic. Yeah, mate, I've cleared the house. Uh, no sign. Was there any opportunity for Ed to have gone out onto that golf course? We don't have Ed, so let's find out where could he go. Has he gone across that golf course? If he has, where would he be heading? If he's going to be in a panic, what would he do? Hey, guys, you all right? Have you seen anybody else put golfers on the golf course? Thanks. Yeah, it looks like we've had a possible split here. <sighs> sakes. We caught James, but Ed is still on his toes, so we've still got to do the same amount of work. As much as it'll be harder for Ed on his own, it's still going to be a challenge for us. Hello. Hello. Where's James? I think James got caught. Ed has made it to his planned getaway driver, Taskmaster Series Director Andy Devonshire. James asked, is he now officially uh, Taskmaster Champion? I'll have to run it past the break. But it would seem a shame because he's just sacrificed his life. If James got caught and I escaped, I would, I'd feel very sad to lose my friend, because um, I think they kill, they kill people they catch, right? So what are you going to do now? I want to get home. But, I mean, I think that might be asking for trouble. <laughs> I refuse to rough it. I am a creature of habit, and I like my comforts. I will miss my cat and my wife in that order. I don't think they'll be expecting me to get home. I hope my wife's in. Fika. Good to see you, Fika. And you, how are you doing? Well, OK, these gentlemen have been very accommodating. One of them squirted me with a water pistol in the dick and the butthole, and I would like to complain about that. That's fine, duly noted. Have you got a girlfriend? Why? What are you doing later, Fika? Is this how you speak to all your fugitives when they get caught? You're a randy nana. <laughs> Comedians are just really deeply insecure, aren't they, deep down? So this is all a front. I tried to taunt a little bit. There were points where he's mildly amusing, but it's all a front. He will be worried about Ed. He will want Ed to get to the end, but Ed's got no chance. I'd have loved to have made it to the end with Ed, but what's important is that one of us makes it, and it's going to be Ed Gamble. Sorry, the other teams. We're so good, we're winning this with one person. I've learned that I'm the most resilient, cunning, tough guy that I know. I'm tough. I didn't know that I was tough. I thought I was a weed. Wrong. I'm macho as they come, and I love it. I guess my final message to the hunters would be, enjoy what's left of your sad and lonely lives. Suckers! Ed made off after we caught James. Don't think he's got the cojones to go through this without James at his side. So where's he going to go? So he's based in London, born and bred. Um, all of his family is still there. He's not long got married to his wife, Charlie. Have we got checks in on all those people? Yeah. 
Let's make sure she's on intercept. Sort of back in my neck of the woods. Dangerous, yes. Obviously, I haven't planned to be on my own. I think my wife might be at work today, so I don't want to go to my house and not be able to get in because I don't have the keys. So, I'm currently going to Signature Brewery. I know a few of the guys there. Hello. You did that, right? Good. Good to see you. I'm on the run. Hoping to make contact with his wife, Ed has travelled 15 miles across London to his local brewery, run by associates Tom and John. What I was hoping to do was use your official Signature Brew Instagram account to message my wife. Yeah, yeah, of course. Hi, Charlie. We think you left your purse here when you were here the other night. The purse has some sort of Christmas duck on it. Now, that's because when we went to New York, she got really drunk and she was Googling pictures of um, ducks at Christmas. <laughs> so no one else would know that. Um, what do we do now, though? Well, I, can, I, can, I can get you a pint of beer. <laughs> yes! <laughs> guys oh yes please it's important to stay hydrated and refreshed on Thank the run you. yes it is the hunters don't bother me at all they use their skills to basically make sure they can go home and watch pornography without being tracked um, so do we need to devise a an exit strategy if they turn up yeah we could give them a brewery tour <laughs> <laughs> I think they'd appreciate a brewery tour <laughs> Hello. After receiving the coded Instagram message, Ed's wife, Charlie, has called the brewery. What, what are you doing now? You're at work, are you? I can get there as soon as possible. Oh, yeah, I'd love to see you. Chief, activity on Charlie Jameson's phone. Outgoing call. That is Signature Brew Black Horse Road, East London. Close to the home address. Stuff a bit of quiet. Just come here, thank you. OK, all right, I'll sort it out. So I wonder whether it's just worth me staying here and having some lovely pints. Fuck off, mate. OK, bye. Ray, he's at the frickin' brewery. Get the team moving now. Ed Gamble, I think he's getting cocky. He's going to make mistakes, and I think he's just made one. And that is when we take you out. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Ed's wife, Charlie, arrives at the brewery. You can't stay here. <laughs> but got the vantage yeah, point. And then where do you go? You're just trapped in a little tower. They won't know I'm here. Um... I'm so smart. They're so dumb. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought I could spend one night at home. I want to come home and pack, pack a new bag. Oh, my God. You can't stay here. There's a climbing centre around the corner. You could hide upstairs. And Can I just... go for a wee first? Yeah, do. Right, everybody, the ground team is three minutes out. Steve, get the body cams up. Hattie, we need to help them on the ground, yeah, because it's a big block. Yep. Come on, Ed. Have another beer. Have it on us. Ray, we're seeing JP. Go ahead. Yeah, we've just got the location. OK, team, are entering the estate now. Yeah, Ray from JP. Yeah, go ahead. We're just currently looking around the location. No sightings, no sightings. Yeah, roger right that. Let's find out if they've been there. Do you know Ed? I've, I've come across him in the past, yeah. He's not been here today? <laughs> not aware of, no. Not that you're aware of. Hi, are you working around the bar, mate? Have you seen these two here? I've never seen those people in my life. Of course you have. <laughs> how long ago? Yeah. <laughs> OK, do you know how they left? <laughs> Melter Ray, yeah. I have been led to believe that they left about five minutes ago on the foot. Tell them to stand by. They've slipped the net, but they can't be that far. What we need to do is work out where they're going. Let's get CCTV inquiries around the area, yes? On it, Chief. I didn't think this was how I was going to get you to come climbing with me. Ed and his wife, Charlie, have moved to their local climbing centre. I'm on the run. <laughs> <laughs> Could I hide out here a little bit? 100%. Result. Where Ed enlists the help of duty manager Matt. If you call through to me, if they turn up, and just yeah. say you need to speak to your manager. Yeah, I've got you, Matt. Brilliant. No Thank you, Matt. <laughs> You're buying. Um, can I just get a bottle of water? My wife is going to be my greatest asset. She is not giving anything up whatsoever. She will throw them off the scent straight away. Unless she misses me and needs me to come home to do some sort of 
job in the house, in which case she'll give me up. Chief, we just had an Apple transaction from Charlie Jameson. Location yonder climbing centre. Which isn't far from the signature pub. Three, two, JP. Ten. Just had Charlie Jameson has made an uh, Apple uh, transaction to the Yonder Climbing Centre. Right, Steve, let's have a look at what's in that area. So, Chief, this place is absolutely massive. There's four industrial units that this company has taken over, and they've lead all the way to the back of the building. It's a big, complicated area. In terms of exits, what can we see? So we've got the exits at the very front of the premises, but at the back of the building, there's only, like, a tiny little path. We're just approaching the location now. Yeah, JP, if we can cover this off as best we can. Yes, yes, that's all received. Right, we can't go in there. It's going to be way too busy. I want to get them outside. Just got to location now. Yeah, Roger, understood. OK, they're approaching it now. Not JP, uh, I'm around the back. Yeah, that's received, mate. I'll cover the front. Just been given a heads up that uh, people with tactical outfit coming this way, so you might want to hide. OK, doing it, thank you. Ah, shit. Fuck, they're on their way. Ray from JP. Yeah, uh, JP. Yeah, there's been some movement at the front. If they've seen our vehicle, maybe warning the two inside of it. Yeah, uh, Roger that. The Land Rover's been seen and someone's gone in and warned them. They've got to come out. We'll just flush them out yes, and wait. Yes, we'll just wait them out. I've got visual. If he exits and goes left, he is coming towards me. Still, uh, there's no change from the front. Can't see anyone, so the plans hold tight until the coast is clear. Then there's always the danger that they're going to wait outside. Also, I need a ship, and uh, this body position is really convincing my bowel that I'm ready to go. Come in as far as we can see through looking through these tiny holes. After a member of staff spotted ground hunters Mel and JP outside the climbing centre, Ed has been hiding behind a wall for two hours. Have you seen him outside? Haven't seen him outside for probably I'd say like 20, 25 minutes. Has Charlie gone? Yeah, Charlie's gone. Okay, great. Thank you, Matt. Interesting. I don't think they're here anymore. I think they've gone. OK, well, if they're not there now, I don't think they're going to turn up. I'm going to make a dash for it after I grab my stuff. If I can get to my suitcase, which I think I should do, I can at least put clean clothes on, see what else I can do to disguise myself, and then I can just try and dash. They're sort of like bed bugs. You know, you know they're there, but you can't see them, can't actually find them, so you need to smoke the fuckers out. You guys look like you're ready to go anyway. Could you could you walk with me? Yeah. Let's do it. For Ray, I've seen four people just walk out. Different clothing, but could be our fugitive. I think I'm gonna move the vehicle forward to check it out. Absolutely incredible if they if they've not spotted me there. Fuck. <laughs> I've got Ed running! Hang on a minute, hang on, we've got a runner, we've got a runner! Oh, get in! Get away from me, you're covered in pest! Ed, time runs over. You've been hunted down. Yeah, Ray, captured, I've got Ed Gamble. Yeah! You still smell the pest. Hi, boss. We've uh, got someone here who wants to speak to you. Ah, Ed, the second worst comedian I've seen today. Hi, Lisa. I'll take that as a compliment. I cannot believe it's taken you a week to catch us. It's because you weren't having fun. What do you mean I wasn't having fun? I dressed as a leopard and snuck into the Speakman's house. We were watching you live. That was a mistake. How has your time on the run been? A bit of a shame to go out, but I get to go home now. Well, you guys are still slaving away. Can't go back to your lives because they're too sad. 
And you've lasted longer than any of us thought you would. But now, Foxtrot Oscar, we've had enough. Bye, Lupa! Ed actually wasn't funny at all, but he seemed like a canny fella, particularly compared to that little weasel, James. But the fact now that we've captured Ed, that's really, really important because now we can focus in on the three remaining teams of fugitives and make their life as miserable as we possibly can. I would have loved to have made it to the end with James, and it was very sad when he got caught. But when I was by myself, it wasn't for that long, but boy, oh boy, I was a proper James Bond. My final message to the hunters, eat petty pork scratching bastards. Right, that's Ed and James done. We are back in the game. Two teams off the board, three remain. Let's get them, yeah? yeah. Yes, 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 yes,